on and as team was found by conservationist David Bates and his team of rangers at Kimama Sanctuary, uh, Kajiado County. Team is said to be one of Kenya's oldest, most studied, and greatest taskers. The KWS vets treated him at Tamboseli and is much better now. Dokas Wangari has the story. There are taskers in Nende's team. Amboseli National Park's team is one of the world's biggest taskers. Wildlife Direct records that team was born in 1969. A witness of all the four ruling regimes, a grandchild of another well-known elephant in Amboseli, Teresia. At 14, Tim left his larger family to be with his male cousins and decided to be friendly, photogenic and polite. He survived droughts and the peaks of poaching in the 1980s. Conservationists posit that he could live to be 75, that is if poachers don't kill him for his majestic tasks. But poachers are not the only ones being for him. In 2014, the Wildlife Direct Board found him with fresh sore wounds on his back. He did not need any veterinary intervention and even thought it was not clear what caused his wound. It was later said to be a poacher's spear. Tim was found hurt again, this time wounded on the forehead, the spear wound going through the pinai of his large ear. Yet another elephant at the center of human-wildlife conflict in the Amboseli Chulut Savo ecosystem. David Bates, a conservationist together with Sidayo Leng Rangers, found him sauntering near the Kimana Sanctuary with a huge bleeding wound, spear protruding. Bates affirms it was local farmers who did it. The fear had been that the spear was poisoned. KWS arrived a day later and the vets attended to the bull. They attacked him and um, from that point where the conflict took place, now he was injured and so he was trying to escape to a place that was peaceful and where he knew he was safe and protected. Ona kwamba ile corridor imebaki katikati yetu na mashamba ya upande wa juu kuelekea Mboseli ni zaidi ya chini ya mita 300 peke yake. But there is a genesis for the conflict, the human settlement and intense farming on elephant corridors on the Amboseli Curio ecosystem. It's no longer a question of who found who here or who owns this land. Farmers who settled here say they bought this land legitimately and are thus entitled. And since elephants don't speak in words, they keep migrating and using this route, destroying what hinders them and eat the crop. <laughs> In 2015, an elephant killed two people in Amboseli. This triggered a massive demonstration at the Emali Tok Tok Road. It was only after KWS tracked down the elephant and killed it that the demonstration stopped. <laughs> It's a delicate balance for KWS when it comes to compensation for human life and crops. It is clear in principle but not in practice. Human life and wildlife and the ecosystem still in conflict, one that urgently needs to be addressed. KWS says Tim is well and out of danger. He could live to his full potential in 2045. But can he survive another attempt on his life? Dorcas Wangira, KTN News.